Hey guys, it's Abby from Homeschool with Moxie. Today I wanted to give you a look inside BJU Press Math 5 Work Text. Now this is the third edition. They do have a new fourth edition out, but honestly, it's not going to be a whole lot different. Obviously, they might move things around, different graphics, but I find that with the different editions, there's not a whole lot of change. Now the reason I wanted to tell you about BJU Press Math is because it's a really solid math curriculum that even though it's made for a traditional classroom, I find that it's generally easy for homeschool moms to use. It's very open and go at the elementary level. Now I've been homeschooling five kids since 2008. We've graduated three, I only have two left. But the only thing that has stayed pretty constant in my homeschool is that at least in K through six and depending, maybe even K through eight, we use BJU Press Math. It's solid, it's easy to do, it's easy to use, and you don't even need the teacher's edition at the elementary level, and I'm gonna show you why. It's very contained, like all the instruction that you need for that day is right there on the page, and it's pretty user-friendly. Even though, in general, BJU Press is written for a classroom, and I don't love all of their stuff for that reason, for homeschool families, I still think math is really doable. And my fifth grader doesn't need to be watching math videos. I can easily explain the concept and then she can get right to work on her math. Now, the reason I did the third edition instead of doing their new one is because I could find it pretty cheaply on like eBay or whatever. So if you're okay with the older editions because you don't need a teacher's manual, all you need is the student work text, you can do math in the elementary ages for very low cost and very inexpensively. So I'm gonna give you a little walk through this um, specific work text. Now, we're like a month into the school year and she's already done several of the chapters, so it's not gonna show you exactly from page one, but I think it'll help you to be able to see if this would work for your kids. I know it's hard to buy stuff online and not be able to thumb through it, so this video is a personal um, thumb through for you so you can see what it looks like. So here's the third edition of BJU Press Math. This is the student work text, and this is all you need to teach math to your fifth grader. So it starts the year, I would say like the first couple chapters have been generally review of stuff we did last year. And depending on how long your summer break is, your child may need to spend more time on this, or you may be able to go really quickly through the first couple chapters. And then it starts doing maybe some newer type um, topics, but you can see there's a lot of spiral learning going on because see fractions are in chapter six, but then in chapter nine, we do fractions again, but now we're adding and subtracting and then it keeps going back to those same topics, but on a higher and deeper level, right? So you can see the spiral approach. Now, like I said, this isn't page one or lesson one, but this is like a month in. And you can see from this page, like factor trees, all the information we need to teach that lesson are right there. And then there's plenty of practice without being overwhelming. I find that my daughter can work through this. So look at that. The all the whole top is explaining and you can use that to teach the concept. And then the, the problems are below it. See how your child does. And then when you flip to the next page to the back, that's the rest of the, you know, practice problems for that concept or for that lesson. So you can see it's not too much. It's just the right amount. And then, of course, after every chapter, there's a nice review so you can make sure your child understands. Like we don't do tests in fifth grade. You could buy tests for this, but we don't bother. Just use the chapter review and the cumulative review to make sure my child knows the concepts. And then... You know, there's extra little bits in here. You can see that page Egyptian multiplication. We honestly just skip them. And then here's the chapter on geometry. You can see, okay, we're learning a new topic. We're kind of going to do a whole unit on this new topic. All the teaching is right there. It's very easy to see. It's a great visual book. It gives you enough to work off of. And then your student writes on it. This is a consumable workbook. So you would obviously need to purchase this again for each child you know, that wants to use this for math, but I love it. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to just open and go, which I think is essential for um, homeschool curriculum. And then there are daily review pages. 
that, um, you know, gives your child a little bit of review back to things that they've learned previously. So like an extra five or 10 questions, if you want to assign that. Here's a new chapter on division. And you can see how at the top, whatever concept they're learning is just right there. You can use that to help teach it and then see if they can work out the problems on their own. If they have trouble, you know you need to go back and figure out what they're not understanding. But I find this just a really simple curriculum to use and work through. There's plenty of room usually to, you know, work out the problems. Occasionally we have to get out our own paper, but in general, your student can just write everything right on this work text. So there's the daily review I mentioned. You know, if you want them to go back and review some of the concepts they previously did before. But, um, you know, I love this curriculum. We've used it, haven't quit. This is the one thing that hasn't changed in our homeschool. So I just thought some of you who are interested in what does BJU Press Math look like, it helps to see inside the book. Now, yes, this is written from a Christian worldview. Um, occasionally in math, like the story problems or the word problems, they might have a connection to um, church or a Bible lesson or something from scripture. So if that's, you know, something you're concerned about, you just might want to be aware of that. But we really love this curriculum. Now, here are some other inside uh, pictures for you so you can see exactly how it looks. So on the day that this daily review is assigned, like in addition to the page of math work, your child would go here and this is like a review of things they learned previously. So it's extra work that if you feel like they need that daily review, it's probably a good idea to do that too. And so that's an example of what that would look like. Here's more of that daily review. It's just, you know, what's, what's shown here. That's how much extra daily review they might get. And it is a good idea to keep them current and be able to remember the concepts they learned before they spiral around and get to that concept again in a later chapter. Here's just more inside pictures to show you how the teaching is done at the top. It's usually enough. Like usually I don't have to do anything else other than explain the concept using the pictures and the diagrams. You know, you could use that to get out manipulatives. You could do that. You could get out a piece of paper and work on other problems. But I usually find that that's enough instruction for my child, you know, and they try to visually really explain things well. And so for even something like fractions and how do we do this, you know, they're trying to explain the why behind the math. Like, why is this working this way? So I'll just give you a few other examples I just find that it's visually, it's enough color and interest that it doesn't look like a black and white overwhelming sheet, but it's not so much that the color and the graphics are overwhelming and distracting because I know there's a fine balance. Some kids like the color, some kids are distracted by it. So as you can see, I feel like it, it has a good balance here. And of course, so factoring, comparing fractions, I mean, it maps it all out. If you don't know how to do this, all you need to do is read the instructions with your child. And most likely in elementary math, it's going to make sense to you. You don't need to read through a clunky teacher's manual to teach a math concept. You just need to follow the steps with your kids and you'll be just fine. That's what I find. So like most parents, they get freaked out about math and they can't teach it. You really can with this BJU press math because it is scripted out essentially on each page. So you can just work it out with your children, follow through the instructions. I like how they have a lot of real life story problems and word problems, you know, so cooking and making recipes and, you know, how would this math show up in real life? They do include a lot of that. And so there's a lot of application of math um, concepts throughout the book, which I find really useful. So here again is some geometry and area of a triangle. And, you know, you just work it out with your child and it'll make sense. It's basically scripted there for you. Just talk through the graphic, talk through the, the box at the top and the concept. And that's usually enough because you don't need a clunky teacher's manual made to teach a class of 28 kids. You don't need to give them 50 examples. You just need to explain the concept simply and then let them start on the problems. And if they get it right, they probably understand it. So here are the practice problems. As soon as you describe and teach the concept, 
have your child, you know, you can try the first one with them and then have them work on the second, third, all the way to the sixth. And if they're making mistakes, you figure out what's going wrong. And if they get it right, okay, they learn the concept, you can move on. Here's an example of what I was saying. Like there's connections sometimes to things in the Bible or, um, you know, things related to Christianity. So it definitely is from a Christian worldview. You're not going to find like verses sprinkled throughout the book per se, but some of the application or they'll talk about a missionary collecting money or, you know, buying Bibles and that kind of thing. So that's the type of um, Christian perspective that is used in these books. So here's another example of, you know, a fraction of a fraction and when will you ever need to use this? Well, if we just were working out the math problems, it might seem abstract, but when you use it in conjunction with a garden, it kind of makes more sense. Oh, okay. Now I get how this is useful in real life. And so here are the practice problems. Once you work through that whole top where you're explaining the concept to your child, now you see if they can do it on their own. And that's what is great about these practice problems. Here's another example of real life application in word problem form so that, you know, something like fractions aren't going to feel so abstract. And then I love this next example of like music, fractions in music. This kind of makes my heart happy. This is really awesome. So it really does take it to application of math concepts. And then finally, here's one last little page just to see how, you know, a little concept like annexing a zero to rename, you just work it through with your child and then see if they can do the problems next to it. It's not that difficult. There's only one tiny concept during each lesson. And usually any parent is able to pick up and teach that elementary concept without the help of a clunky teacher's manual, which you really don't need, especially with elementary math. So obviously we still highly recommend the BJU Press Math, no matter if you get an older edition or the newest edition, I don't feel like in the elementary years you need the videos or anything. You don't need the teacher's guide. You don't need tests. All you need is a work text. It's very inexpensive. It's pretty easy to use. It's open and go and we still love it and use it. And so I hope this has been a helpful peek for you into the BJU Press Math work text. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you know every time we go live with an awesome homeschool review. And in the meantime, happy homeschooling.